Hi everyone. So today in this video, we'll see what is path parameter and how do we use the path parameter in Postman. So what is path? Path is nothing. It's a location of the resource. So what is the parameter? Parameter is the value that we have to pass, right? So what is path? Like, so when you go to some website, right? So you can, you can see some uh, slash things are coming, right? So whenever you navigate to some other page, right? So it will like a home and slash uh, user page slash account details, something like that, right? So that is what the path defined, the parameter that we defined, like uh, after login to the user, like we can go for a home page or my user account details, right? So those, those things will come under the path parameter. Okay, the key things about the parameter is like a, it's a, it's a path parameter is always part of the URL and it is not optional. So when we see this query parameter, in our last video, we have seen this one, right? So here, uh, query parameter is always part of the URL and it is used to pass the data and it is optional, but not always, right? So when it's come to the path parameter, it is not optional. So the path parameter uh, from the part of the uh, request URL and our reference using the placeholders by proceed by the colon as following syntax. This is a syntax. So here you can see the customer and we are putting some colon and ID. So this ID we are sending as a path parameter. So now we'll see some uh, real time example. So if you see this uh, endpoint, right? So in this endpoint, uh, till ORG, it's a domain name. So whatever's come after the uh, ORG, it's called as a path parameter, like a data 2.5 forecast and daily. So after the daily, it's a query parameter. So we are querying the city name and count we are querying as a one. So this is query parameter, this is a path parameter. So how do we, uh, I mean, uh, we, can, we can manage this path parameter in Postman. Okay, so for example, one more example here, you can see this user, we are, we are getting some user scores. Okay, so here, so the mic is the user name and we are, we are getting the mic score and we are querying, I mean, uh, we are using the query parameter to, to I mean, uh, the date displayed. I mean, the date that is created. Okay, so here the mic is path, right? So for example, if you want to change a user, you can, instead of mic, you can go for a John or any other user if you, if you want to get those user details, right? So now we'll go for some real time example. So here, this is one get endpoint uh, where we can we can see this till dot com right. So this is a domain name. So whatever comes up after this dot com, it's called as a query path parameter, right? So this API v one employee is everything is a path parameter. So for example, uh, so we want to uh, make this as a path variable, right? So the syntax is we have to put the colon. So it, earlier it was a V1, right? So which means a person. So I am I just started typing this uh, colon. After I'm typing this V, you can see this path variables automatically will come here, right? So if I delete the V, it will go. You can see on the screen, the path variable, okay? So I'm just putting as a person. Okay, so what's the version we have? We have V1, right? So when I go for a send method, it will work fine. Okay, so we'll go to the console. Again, I will send this request. So the request, it went as a, I mean, ignore about this error because uh, I have written some test here. Okay, I will comment out all the test. Okay, as soon as I, I put a colon and I type person, you can see the path variable is created here, right? So here we can pass the value, like so the B1 is an actual value, right? I will clear the console. Now you can see, I mean, how this URL build, right? So it is building like dummy resty API example.com API and V1. This V1 is whatever we set in the path variable, right? So now again, I will, I will clear the console. I will uh, reset the things here. So now you can see again, again, the same URL is going, right? So this is how we set the path parameter in the postman. So one more example is here. So till ORG is a, it's a domain after whatever ORG is, right? It's, it's counted as a till this forecast, right? I mean, till this daily. Yeah, so till this daily, it's a path variable, okay? 
So now, for example, we we, we can we can change this path variable. So instead of two point five, we can put a colon. When I type starting as a version, right? You can see the version is coming in the path variable. So here we can pass as a two point five. Okay. So when we make this request, so we'll be getting all the response. So the difference, one more difference is, so as we said, right? So the query parameter is always optional. I mean, it's optional but not always. Right. So, for example, if I take this count out, right. So, if I uncheck this one, it will be removed from my URL. So, when I make this request, it will work fine. Right. So, but here you can see this path variable you cannot uncheck. I mean, you cannot remove because there is always it is not optional always. Right. So, it is a required field and it's a it's a mandatory field to be part of part of your URL. Okay, so now if you see, uh, if I uncheck this query param, right? So the Chennai is the queue city name, so it won't work. You can see you will be getting as a 400 request because the city is it's a mandatory for this one. So that is what we seen in the query parameter. It is optional, but when it's come to this method, it is mandatory one because it has to be uh, some name given to this city name. Otherwise, it will not fetch the details, right? So if I if I change it to Delhi. I will be getting the results. Okay, so that is a difference. So this is endpoint for I mean to checking the forecast of all the city. So for checking the city, I mean forecast, you have to give the some city name. Otherwise, it will throw error, right? So that is what they giving 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 us a bad request. Okay, so here you cannot uncheck this path variable like uh, query param. We are checking unchecking the things, right? So you cannot do this one. So similarly, uh, so we have changed the uh, version, right? So similarly, you can change this forecast as well. So put the colon and type, uh, you can give us a type. So what type it is, it is a forecast type, right? So when I make this request, it will work. So in the same, I mean, the same endpoint, the single endpoint. So we are using the both query param and path param, I mean, path variables, right? So this is how we use the both query and path variables in the same endpoint. So now we'll go for uh, one more example. So I will go to my GitHub page. So this is my GitHub page, right? So when I copy this URL and I go for my postman. Okay, so here I can put my end, this endpoint. So this endpoint is my endpoint. I mean my uh, account, right? So whatever the whatever the end, I mean repository I have, everything will be displayed in the postman as well. Okay. So for example. Uh, so this is what this is one uh, repository I have, right? So if I look for this repository, it will be coming in my response. Yeah. So here you can see this coming. The repository name is coming here, right? So which means this is a username. This username can be, I mean, you can make it as a path variable. How do we make this one? Okay. I will I will uh, just copy this one. Okay. So I will put a colon username. Okay, so as soon as I type here, you can see the path variable is generated here. So it will be automatically generated, not like a query param. So if I delete this one, this field will be go from the postman. You can see now. So it is not like a query param. It always uh, stay in the, uh, it, it will not always stay in our postman. So when you put a colon and if you start type something, it will be coming in the below, below query param. Okay, so here you can see the path variables are coming. So here I can pass my value. And when I make this request, it will work. Okay, so similarly, if I go to my repository tab, right? So this is my repository tab. So I will copy this URL. I will come to the postman. I will replace this one. So here, you can see uh, we are using the both. I mean, uh, this is my, I mean, my repository page. So when you see this one, right? So they are coding this. I mean, they are using the coding parameter tab equal to repositories because we are going to the repositories page. Like when I go to the project, you can see tab equal to projects, right? So that's where that's where they are querying my uh, I mean GitHub page and they are getting to the I mean different different pages. Okay, so now I will go to this repository page. I will copy this endpoint. I will come to the postman. So we have replaced the things, right? So now here you can see this uh, my my this is my username, right? So I will replace this one, putting colon. So username is my path variable name. Right. So what is the value? My, I, have, I have to pass my username here. So when I make this request, so I will be getting all the endpoint, I mean, all the repositories, whatever I have. So for example, uh, here I have one repository called sample framework, right? So 
So I should be getting the same in my response as well. See, we are getting this one, right? So similarly, you can get a number of like list of repositories, right? So this is one more endpoint where you can see, how, I mean, you can pass the any username and you can get the repository list. Okay, so here you can see the username is I have I have kept as a path variable, right? So I will open the console. Now you can see how this URL is built. Okay, so, so this is went as a slash users slash my username in and slash repos, right? So whatever the path variable that you pass here, that value passed to the particular URL and it, it reaching to that particular endpoint, right? So it similarly applies to here as well. So when I make this request, you can see my username is coming as a my name. After that, I'm getting the tab equal repository, which is query parameter. Okay, so this is how we will use the path parameter in Postman. So the difference between this uh, query parameter and, and path parameter, right? So if you want to identify the resource, then we have to go for a path variable. So if you want to sort out, I mean, if you want to use the sort or filter items, or filter options, then you have to go for the query parameters. This will be defined by the developers. Okay, so those these endpoints, uh, okay, this should be a part of query parameter or this should be a part of path parameter will define by the developers. Okay, so that's all about uh, path parameter. So how effectively we can set the path parameter in Postman. Okay, so here, uh, so not only this version, like API also you can, uh, I can, I can do the parameterize. So what's type it is. Right? So it is a API time. So when I make this request, it will work fine. You can see we are getting the response. So when we come here, so if I don't pass this username, what happens? It will throw the error. Right? So we, you can see it here. Okay, still it is coming because uh, I have given my uh, authorized, I mean, my authorization, everything. That's the reason we are getting the response. Okay, we'll see it here. Okay, so if I remove, okay, so if I remove this version, see it is coming as a 404 because this path variable is always mandatory. Once again. Value is removed. Right? So if you remove any path variable, it will not work. So when it's come to the query param, okay, if the parameter is mandatory, then you have to, I mean, we have to use the query parameter. Otherwise, it is optional always. Okay. So that's a key difference between the path param and query param. Query parameter, it could be optional, but not always. When it's come to the path param, it is not optional. Okay, so when we use the query parameter, when we use the uh, path variable, it's defined by the developer. So when you want to identify the resource, we have to go for a path variable. When you want to filter or sort, you have to go for the query parameter. Okay, so that's all about the path parameter. If you guys have any doubt or question, please uh, feel free to ask in the comment section. Thank you guys.